A new study has revealed that countries worldwide will generate a staggering 220 million tons of plastic waste this year alone. That's the equivalent of 220 million extra great white sharks and a 7% increase since 2021. But there's a solution on the way to lend a helping hand. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to report on engineers fighting plastic pollution, starting with Italy-based Niteco Robotics. Their engineers have created Beebot, the beach cleaning robot. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Keeping beaches this clean requires tremendous work and often organized events where volunteers come together removing plastic and debris or beaches are cleaned by heavy duty tractors that rake the sand, ultimately removing the flora and fauna, triggering beach erosion while still leaving bits of plastic waste behind. These little bits of plastic waste pollute the ocean, some of which are eaten by fish. And we all know who eats the fish. You. Molly. You in danger, girl. Niteco Robotics Bebop is here to the rescue. Deployed by Paralu Marine's Serial Cleaners and purchased by 4Ocean, it's a 900-pound robot powered by two 12-volt batteries and a solar panel. It can clean 3,000 square meters of beach per hour for two to three hours. That's the equivalent of seven basketball courts filled with Steph Curry. With so many families spending time on the beach, there are safety concerns. So Bebop is not an autonomous robot. Bebot is operated by a remote control resembling a video game controller. The operator of Bebot can control the robot up to 300 meters away. Propelled by tracked treads, Bebot moves along the beach utilizing a sand sifter that dips 10 centimeters into the sand, which isn't deep enough to cause beach erosion. Bebot scoops up small pieces of plastic, debris, and sand, brings it over to the sifter, which vibrates, allowing the sand to fall through and the remaining plastic and debris to be loaded into the hopper. Then the material is offloaded to a designated area. Then Bebot is off again, fighting plastic pollution. There are many reasons why people litter. Lack of environmental education, lack of trash receptacles, or simply because they feel like no one's watching and there are no consequences. Well, one company is keeping an eye on litter and using it to their advantage. That company is Rothy's. Rothy's design and product office is based in San Francisco, California. There, footwear engineers create the original rendering of their shoes, which are made from recycled plastic, including 166 million plastic bottles. And since fighting plastic pollution is a global mission, Rothy's believes that better business starts by putting the planet and its people first. So in order to control the manufacturing process, they own and operate a factory in China. The footwear engineers back in San Francisco pre-programmed the knit structure for the factory. Using a 3D knitting process, the recycled plastic is actually turned into the thread used to make the shoes. Another unique feature of Rothy's shoes entails the soles. They're not made traditionally. Rothy's mold engineers do injection molding, which is a method of heating plastic, then injecting it into a mold. Mold engineering and production is an extreme extremely technical skill. This is something that the workers will study four years in college and then apprentice and then really take years and years to master this. With the goal of being a zero waste company, Rothy's even reuses the scraps from its production line by regrinding and melting it into a material that can be reused. So whether it's a robot or a shoe company, engineers are finding unique ways to combat further environmental destruction before it starts. That's all for this week. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. All right, gotta go.